Hey guys, so today I'm gonna be looking at how people found out they were being cheated on. So yeah, let's just get right into the video. My roommates called and asked me to meet them for lunch, said it was important. I met them and they told me she had been cheating on me with her ex the entire time I was deployed. They showed me pictures, back when you had to get pictures developed. They said I was a good man and I didn't deserve to be treated like that. They had collected my things that morning when she left for work and gave them to me. I drove to her work, walked up to her, showed her the pictures and demanded the ring back. She gave it to me and I left. Later she called me yelling about me conspiring with her roommates, basically trying to make it my fault. She asked what I was doing meeting with them. I said it's called respect and closure and it sounds like this. I unplugged the phone landline, waited an hour, plugged in the phone and called the phone company, said I needed to change my number and never heard from her again. I took it really rough and I'm thankful for her roommates and the friends that got me through probably the darkest time of my life. Wow, good on the roommate. For telling them honestly else it would have went on for longer as if his ex tried to blame him instead she was like well why were you meeting with my roommate then that's because you cheated and your roommate is calling you out for it why else jeez she must have been really bad to the roommate for the roommate to like call her out on it because i feel like some people they just feel like it's not their problem and they wouldn't care Right. He pocket dialed me while bragging about it to a co-worker. The universe really had my back on that one. Wow. The universe was like, hey, you gotta know. He's cheating on you. I didn't know at the time we broke up for sure, but she was engaged a week after we broke up. I can't even figure out how that worked exactly. That just means she was seeing someone behind their back and she got engaged later. Jeez, how do people live a double life, man? Like, how much time do they have? Yo, I go out for one hour and I'm already tired. Phone bill. She was texting some random number 600 times a month. I thought I recognized the number and when I put it in my phone, it was a buddy of mine. <gasps> wow, the moment of realization. Like, who could this be? Oh. That's crazy. Was using her phone for GPS while we were on a road trip because mine had issues when she got a text from a guy we had been in marriage counseling about who she says she hasn't talked to him for months about seeing her tomorrow. 24 years of being together, 23 years married, two kids and a house. All down the drain and ruined my life for a guy who could pass for a real life Ned Flanders. <laughs> That is crazy to me. The fact that someone can just throw all that away for someone they've met like for a week or something. Seriously? You throw all your past experiences with one person? Just for one stupid fling? Yo, that's crazy. When she left me because she got pregnant and thought it was a different guy. Turns out I was one of three possible dads. A couple years later and a few paternity tests and turns out it was mine. Yo. They probably would have wished that the kid wasn't theirs if their mom is like that. Do you know what I mean? Like, hope the kid isn't mine because I do not want to raise that kid with a terrible person. What a roller coaster of emotions. She stopped giving me hugs. Sometimes you just know. <gasps> she stopped giving them hugs. Yo, that's sad. Wow, I think that would be a big sign. Hey, like, how do you not hug your partner? Like, when you go up to your partner, right, surely you just hug them the first thing when you see them right no <laughs> that's weird imagine if your partner suddenly starts avoiding your hugs Oof. Oof. a flirty text from a guy popped up while we were looking at her phone for a place to eat he complimented a picture i had just taken for her she sent it to him while around me bold also this happened in the eiffel tower only a couple of hours into what was supposed to be a two-week vacation the fact that they still have to stay together for two weeks <gasps> What the heck? She took a picture and then sent it to him while her boyfriend was next to her? That's crazy. Old school. Her little sister ratted her out. Good. Honestly. That's what you should do, okay? Guys, if your sibling is cheating on their partner, you should tell the partner, okay? Be a good person and save someone from the trouble. A man knocked on my door and introduced himself as the husband of a woman that my husband worked with. He was there to tell me that his wife was having an affair with my husband. My husband never came home after that. He got an Airbnb and told me to get a lawyer. We had been together for 24 years. <gasps> what? Man. The fact that he has to tell the other partner, but his partner is cheating on him, right? Oh my gosh. 
you can think you're leading a perfect life with your partner and then one thing can just ruin it all. That's crazy. He hooked up with random girls when he was supposed to be at his mom's. One evening at a friend's party, there was a girl who wasn't of our group. A friend of a friend. She went, oh, hi, remember me? It was so fun. <laughs> How do you even react to that? Because you don't really know what she's talking about, right? You can't really assume things so quickly. Do you just be like, oh, hi, yeah, I'm his girlfriend. What happened? I just asked. Oh. Are you cheating on me? Yes. Dang. Oh my gosh. I think it hurts more when they just admit it, right? Oh. I mean, obviously it'll be good if they admitted it, but uh, that just hits different. When I saw her reflected in his sunglasses in a picture that he texted me. Ooh. Oh my gosh. That's crazy. The fact they were like, what is this? Zoom, zoom, zoom. The other girl was wearing my clothes in front of me. Oh, <gasps> ain't nobody touched my clothes, yo. That's crazy, yo. This would actually start a fight for sure. I decided to get a divorce. Dude wouldn't stop accusing me of cheating. After I left, some mutual friends of ours at the time told me he was on dating sites, etc. When I went back to the house to grab some stuff, another woman had moved in two days after I left. It all started to make sense. Apparently it's true. If they're cheating, they will accuse you. Yeah, they are deflecting. If they're cheating, they're going to be accusing you because they think everyone cheats like them. <sighs> My neighbor told me that there was an odd car parked in my driveway when the ex was supposed to be at work. Pfft. The neighbor. Good neighbors looking out for you. The other woman knocked on my front door and asked me to take my kid and get out so that the two of them could be together and happy. I told her she could have him, but they'd have to go because technically I owned the house. I then told him he was free to go. He did not go, sadly. She'd been dropped off by her ex who she'd cheated on with my ex-husband. That was quite awkward. <laughs> so she was dumped at someone else's house and she still had the audacity to tell the house owner to get out. <laughs> and then the person that she's cheating with doesn't want to go with her. Yo, that's awkward ass. Imagine. Imagine being like, hey babe, come on, come on, come on. You don't need her anymore. Come on, come out. And then he doesn't want to come out. <laughs> Okay. She was sleeping with her boss in the most cliched excuses. I really think if she said to me the passion and love was gone, we could have divorced amicably because I was miserable too. But when she cleaned out our house and bank account, well, that changed the dynamic just a smidge. Wow. She had to do that. She had to stoop that low as well. The other woman found out about me when a mutual friend showed her my pictures with the dude and our kids on Facebook and contacted me to apologize and let me know she had been told he was single. We met for a drink and to compare notes after she showed me texts and proof that he had been cheating on me for months. We both dumped him, flew off to party together in New Orleans for a few days and have been besties for over 12 years. He was the best thing that ever happened to me. Introduced me to what ended up being my tribe. Oh, that's so wholesome. She found somebody else through her trashy ex. And that's amazing. At least she got out with something amazing. She told me her, where are the leftovers? Me, I ate them. She puts her hand in her face. You know what? I screwed your friend. We argue and break things off. What the heck? She was so mad that he ate the leftovers. How could you eat my leftovers? You know what? I screwed your friend because you ate my leftovers. Like, what the heck? That's a big jump, you know? <laughs> That's crazy. I guess food does bring out a different side of you. After eight years together, he told me he wanted a break to figure out if this was what he really wanted. After I said no, it's either work on things or we end it. A few days later, he admitted he'd met someone. So basically he asked me to hang around waiting for him while he screwed some other girl for a bit. Good riddance to that one. <laughs> wow. That's crazy. If someone wants a break, I think it's obvious that things are going to end. I think if someone tells you that they want a break, I don't think you should expect them to come back. You know, if anything, you should go through that grieving process of, you know, knowing that you're about to lose them, blah, blah, blah. It's just not worth the wait. 
Well, that's it for the video. Hope you guys enjoyed. Tell me in the comments down below what your thoughts are. And as always, thanks for watching. Hope you guys liked it. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye.